Yo, what's going on? This is Jay Storm, and um, enough is enough. Enough is enough. TNN Wrestling, TNN Wrestling. Supposed to be my favorite, favorite show, but I don't know what's going on. All right, I know they're trying their best. They crown Eric Young. He had some little fight with um Abyss. It wasn't really much of a match, if you ask me, but. I wanna know what's going on with TNN. Are are J Lito coming back? Is AJ Style coming back? Because AJ Style had something going and I don't know what TNN did with it. They dropped the ball, they let him go. Now he's in Ring of Honor. Um most of the fights now I can see on on YouTube. I have to be checking out Ring of Honor to see all the matches that um AJ Styles are involved. Now we got Jay Leto. He's involved in other organizations, like you know, other business. And um, who else? Now, uh, oh man, I'm, I hear more wrestlers are dropping out. Like they're getting released. They're leaving. Some of them are released. Some of them are leaving. I don't know what's going on. Dixie Carter really fucked up. And then she's saying, "Well, now the beard idea was." Hers, where's her royalty? Oh man, this lady doesn't know nothing about wrestling. I don't know what's going on with, with Tina wrestling, but they need help. It definitely need help. You really think it need help? Because it really need help. Because uh, most of the time, WWE, Monday Night Raw is okay, but the storylines are real lame. All they got is Daniel Bryan, like he's some kind of superhero or something. He's like kind of like John Cena on a little side, but he's a little more entertaining than John Cena. And when the hell are they going to kill off John Cena character and put him as a bad guy? I don't give a shit about this goody two-shoe stuff. And why are they so soaked up with John Cena with the kids and all of this crap? Like, there are so many other wrestlers that they could use, but they got John Cena like this post person. Like, like I, I don't know. I see John Cena like the next Hulk Hogan. The next slave who would never leave WWE until he's too old, until his back is broken, and until he can't walk. Look at Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan has been a slave for WWE. He stayed with them until he got broken down. He ran to WCW. Then he came back to WWF. He got broke down. Vince McMahon told him once that he wants Hulk Hogan to last forever. You know what that means? He wants him to stay a part of WWE until he dies. But, you know, Hulk Hogan wasn't into that shit. He was going to run. He had to actually used his brains and got his own business. And now he got his, his own thing going on. He could come and go anytime he want. But John Cena, he's a total slave. He ain't going nowhere. John Cena's going to remain the post boy. We're not going to ever see John Cena being, like, the basic ergonomics guy anymore. No more that word-to-life stuff anymore. He's a total seller. He just... He just... Stay to this boring ass PG-13 John Cena for the buck, for the buck. He says he loves the business. He says he loves the business. Oh, uh, does he really love the business? Do something new. You're boring after dead. You and this, uh, I don't know what the hell is this. This shit look like Illuminati signs like he'd be giving out. Everybody know this is a double six six. The double six six. What, we, we, we selling out? Well, I guess he doesn't sell out his soul anyway. Anyway. Um, who else? I don't know. Uh, to me, I just see WWE and TNA wrestling like this. They're not going anywhere. They're not going no higher. They just, well, to me, TNA is kind of like a little downward, and the WWE is kind of like this. I don't know what's going on, but um, here comes Kane. He's pointing back out in the mass. He's trying to be revelant or revelant or something like that. He's trying to gain back his dignity because his career was dying. Corporate Kane, what a bunch of bullshit. I never dig it when he came to Corporate Kane. He was just boring, I was losing, seemed weak. It was stupid. He should have kept on the mask. Now he's back on the mask. I didn't get to see the episode last Monday, or I should say yesterday. I didn't watch it. I just recorded it. Uh, probably I'll watch it later, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. But, um,. Uh, I don't know. Why they don't bring back CM Punk? At least he was freaking fun. He could do anything. He could be a bad guy, a good guy. He's the like the perfect role model for us. 
that he could be a bad guy, he could be a good guy, and the kids still love him. John Cena, he looked like he, he seemed like he can't be bad. It's like, if he be bad, the kids gonna crack. Yo, give me a break. Look at Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan made kids love him for years and years, and then he tried the bad guy stuff, the bad guy stuff. And where did his career went? All the way up. All the friggin' way up. And then he dropped the bad guy thing, came back to the kids, be the yellow, whatever color, and he's. His career still remain on top. The people still love him. The kids still love him. Why can't John Cena do it? He's freaking scared. When he's gonna piss himself, he can't do anything new. Anyway, I don't know. WWE just needs to do something new. TNA needs something more better. It needs better. Well, I don't know. They just need something better. They need something because they're not even close to WWE. And I love TNA. TNA has more greater athletes come on WWE athletes are they're not all that good but TNN they got like crazy people people could do all kind of amazing things but WWE they need some new people look at it what they got Rey Mysterio Sin Cara those guys don't even get enough TV time who, who remembers they still on the roster whatever happened to Alex Ray where's the Miz um Man, I gotta go through the whole roster to find out who's still available because you don't see much people anymore. You see the same people that are always getting TV time. Ugh. I don't know. I, I, I want TNN to, to like succeed because TNN is a brand new wrestling business. It's been, it's been around. I don't know why Jeff Jarrett left. Jeff Jarrett was like the, the guy who brought this shit. I hope he comes back, but who knows? He's not gonna come back. He's in Mexico and some other different wrestling business. Like all the best wrestlers left TNN. Kurt Angle, his ass is gonna be end up in a wheelchair with a broken neck again. Uh, I don't know why he don't retire or maybe make a comeback in WWE or just forget it, just retire, done with it. Sting. What happened to him? I guess he's done. There's no Undertaker and Sting because if if Sting dares even show himself in WWE. It won't make no big impact at all. The Undertaker lost his streak. There's nothing else he can do. He can just retire and go home. Check out Michelle McCool and that's it. I don't know what else to say. I don't know. Like, like WWE just needs to start using the new talents. I know about that new X, the X, whatever, whatever they call it. They're using it on that show. But they really need to stop bringing them on a raw and kill all these old wrestlers out these old dudes who can't even do it John Cena with his that's all that guy got he got nothing else he's a joke he's a joke he's not even Ric Flair level I, I would even put Hulk Hogan he's not even Hulk Hogan level. Hulk Hogan had just a freaking leg drop in his little 80's style but boot leg drop and that's it at least that was still entertainment for all these years. John Cena, what's this? This, this whole salute shit doesn't go with this. How oh, you can say you you can't see me and still be doing this and doing this shit? What what was he think? Wait, what is he? I'm Marine still? And by the way, Marines suck. I didn't even watch Marine too, so I don't know. I think it was the Miz or Ted DiBiase. I didn't watch any of them. The first one suck and I, I guess the other rest probably suck. Anyway, see you guys later. I, I just think WWE and TNN wrestling needs something new. They need something ready to impact. Forget about the kids. The kids are not the ones who paying the tickets. It's the adults paying the tickets. They come to see you on TV. They come to see your show. The kids are with the adults. And they're not the one paying. It's the adults. They're sponsoring your the freaking company. Why did they all study the kids? Oh, well, I don't know. Forget about it. Well, anyway, this is Jay Storm saying bye-bye till, till next time. Bye.